Hey guys, good to see you again. The shifter in my 1994 Saab has always felt just sloppy and vague. Well, today, we're gonna fix that. So the first step is getting the old shifter out and my knob just pulls right off and I've already loosened the gator here. Pull that up and uh, you'll see three attachment bolts here in the bottom of this flange. With the car in neutral, you remove the three bolts holding the shift mounter in place, and it should just then lift right out. Okay. Now watch, it should just come right out. And it does. This is the shift assembly we just removed, and you can see after so many years, this flange is just not, it's just sloppy and loose, and I think that's why it was so vague and the shifting just felt so vague. Well, the solution for this is a new short throw shift assembly that I received from Jordan Pagano at Modern Classic Sobs. Now this is, boy, it feels great. This is just smooth and solid and uh, what a beautiful piece of work. Machined aluminum there with the Modern Classic Saab logo. So uh, as you can see, it's missing a few pieces that we need to bring over from the other shifter. So let's get to that. So I removed the pin that was holding the uh, shift ball in place. You pull it off your shaft and it, there it comes off. And then this is your reverse lockout pin. So you know how our shifters work in a classic 900, right? You have to uh, pull up on the lever to get it to uh, go into reverse. And when you pull up on that, on the shift lever um, handle there, there's this lockout pin at the bottom that retracts with it. Well, that's held together by a little rod that's inside. So we'll unscrew this lockout pin. Now these are, of course, spring-loaded, so there'll be some components that are gonna come out here in just a second. There it is. So there is the lockout pin and the spring component. Now what will happen is we're gonna lift off the gator and you will see this very narrow threaded rod is inside. Let's take that out. So you're gonna to need to bring these pieces over to the new shift assembly. So here is the new assembly side by side with the old and I don't know if you can notice, but the new is slightly longer and that is important. That's gonna make the difference in your shift movement. So let's go ahead and continue with assembly. So here is our gator and the threaded rod we removed. The rod goes right into the top of the gator and you'll notice that there is just a little L bend, a little 90 degree bend there and that fits into the slot. And now you've got the rod inserted. Can you see that rod coming out of the bottom of that assembly? Great. So we take our new short shift rod assembly and the threaded rod goes right up the middle of that and you will find that it slips over the notch, the notch in the rod right there. Works just great. Now we take a little bolt and insert that and the function of this bolt is just to keep the threaded rod pressed down. This is your release pin, your reverse release pin and with the spring on it we're going to insert that in the bottom and press up and start threading it onto that rod, just screw it on, you'll feel it catch. And once it does, good, there. Now notice, notice that we have a little bit of the release, the reverse lockout pin sticking out past the end of the shaft. Just keep screwing that down until the pin collar is sort of flush with the bottom of the shaft and that is 
about the right adjustment. We may have to make some fine tuning on that later, but notice that when we lift up on the reverse handle, oh, got to take the bolt out. Notice when you lift up on the, re on the reverse lockout, see how that pin retracts? Great, that's just exactly what we want, that pin to retract and that will release us for the reverse. Now, these, uh, this pin, as you can see, has a notch cut in it. So we need to make sure that we rotate, look through the hole and rotate until you can see through that hole in the shaft and you know you've got the notch in just, just in place. We insert our shift ball that is a 3D printed out of nylon with this snazzy little modern classic Saab logo on it. Line up those holes and then insert the cotter pin. And we are ready to take it to the car for assembly. You'll notice on the bottom of this uh, piece of machined aluminum, there is a little notch on one side, right next to uh, an adjustment screw that you can adjust sort of your shift tension, um, just how well, how loose it is in this fitting. And so that little notch fits very squarely in with uh, the housing on the shift assembly itself. And I found that uh, it's, you know you've got it lined up if the modern classic Saab logo is at the bottom and looking at you. So feel around and you can get that to fit right. The ball should slide right in. There it goes. Great. And now your holes are lined up and now we just simply screw things back in. All right, so it's all bolted back in. Let's see. That's always a problem to get that sealed down, but we'll take care of that in a second. Let's see how it feels. Oh yeah. So much more positive. You can feel exactly all the gears. Oh, it feels great. Here's reverse. Uh, a little squeak. Maybe I need some lube in there. I'll check that out. But no, the, the reverse lockout pin worked just fine. Yeah, I'm going to call that a success. Yeah, you know, the sloppy shift linkage on this Saab 900 had always been an irritant. And now, man, it feels, <laughs> feels almost modern. All right, guys, well worth getting out in the shop, getting yourself dirty on this one. Can't wait to go drive it. I'll see you next time.